In the silence of the open sea, a shadow takes flight. It is not piloted by human hands. It has no cockpit, no fear, no hesitation. This is the X-47B, Northrop Grumman's revolutionary stealth strike fighter, a machine that was never meant to just fly, but to change the very definition of modern air warfare. From the decks of aircraft carriers to the skies over contested battlefields, the X-47B proved one thing. The age of the autonomous stealth strike aircraft had arrived. Today, we're diving deep into the story of the X-47B, its origins, its design, its technology, and its legacy, a program that set the stage for the drones and unmanned combat aircraft of tomorrow. The 1990s were a turning point in military aviation. The Gulf War had just proven the effectiveness of precision-guided munitions and unmanned aerial vehicles. Drones like the Predator showed that remote-controlled aircraft could loiter for hours, gather intelligence, and strike with precision. But while drones were proving useful, they were limited. They were slow, fragile, and always dependent on a human operator. The U.S. Navy asked a bold question. What if a drone wasn't just a reconnaissance tool? What if it could replace strike fighters? Enter the Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstration Program, UCASD. The goal was audacious. Build an unmanned stealth strike aircraft that could take off from aircraft carriers, land on moving decks, and carry out missions deep in enemy airspace without risking a pilot's life. Northrop Grumman, the company behind the legendary B-2 Spirit stealth bomber, stepped up. Their creation would be the X-47B. At first glance, the X-47B looks more like a UFO than a fighter jet. It has no tail, no cockpit canopy, just a sleek, bat-like wing that blends seamlessly into its fuselage. This shape wasn't chosen for looks. It was chosen for survival. The X-47B's flying wing design minimizes radar cross-section. Its stealthy shape, combined with radar-absorbent materials, makes it nearly invisible to enemy radar systems. Measuring 38 feet long with a 62-foot wingspan, the X-47B is compact enough for carrier operations, but large enough to carry two internal weapons bays. Unlike traditional drones, all of its weapons are carried internally ensuring its stealth profile remains intact. Its engine, a Pratt & Whitney F100-220U, is buried deep within the body, shielded from prying radar waves. Even its exhaust was carefully engineered to reduce heat signature. The result? A drone that could fly undetected into some of the most heavily defended airspaces in the world. The X-47B first took to the skies in February 2011 at Edwards Air Force Base. What happened next stunned the aviation world. This wasn't just another drone. This was a jet-powered, fully autonomous stealth aircraft that could take off, land, and fly pre-programmed missions without direct human control. Its onboard systems allowed it to navigate, make adjustments mid-flight, and even execute precise maneuvers in the sky. By 2013, the X-47B achieved what many thought was impossible, the first-ever autonomous launch and recovery from an aircraft carrier. On the deck of the USS George H.W. Bush, the X-47B roared down the catapult and took off, flawlessly, Hours later, it returned, aligned with the moving deck, and landed smoothly using only its onboard sensors and software. For the first time in history, a drone had mastered one of aviation's most difficult challenges, carrier operations. The U.S. Navy didn't just want the X-47B to fly. They wanted to know, could it really operate alongside manned aircraft? Throughout 2013 and 2014, the X-47B went through rigorous carrier trials. It took off and landed in rough seas. It maneuvered in tight spaces among crews and fighter jets. It performed touch-and-go landings with perfect precision. In one of the most critical demonstrations, the X-47B successfully performed an aerial refueling. 
connecting to a tanker aircraft and extending its range beyond 2,000 miles. This proved the X-47B wasn't just a concept, it was a fully operational strike platform. For carrier commanders, the possibilities were staggering. The X-47B could launch before dawn, penetrate enemy air defenses, strike high-value targets, and return before enemy radars ever saw it. The heart of the X-47B wasn't its stealth, but its brain. Unlike remote-controlled drones, the X-47B was designed to operate autonomously. Its software allowed it to execute complex missions, take off, navigate, avoid threats, and return, all without continuous human input. Operators set mission parameters, but the drone decided how to achieve them. This autonomy meant that in combat, the X-47B wouldn't be hindered by communication delays, jamming, or human fatigue. It could react faster than a pilot and keep flying long after human endurance gave out. For some, this raised difficult questions. Could a machine be trusted to carry lethal weapons? Who makes the final decision, the operator or the algorithm? The X-47B wasn't just a technological leap. It forced the military to confront the ethics of autonomous warfare. While the X-47B was never armed during its demonstration phase, it was designed to carry a deadly payload. Each of its two internal bays could hold 2,000 pounds of precision-guided munitions, from joint direct attack munitions to advanced standoff missiles. With stealth, range, and precision combined, the X-47B could have been the perfect first-strike weapon, entering hostile airspace undetected, destroying enemy air defenses, and paving the way for manned aircraft. In simulations, it was envisioned as a loyal wingman to aircraft like the F-A-18 Super Hornet or the F-35C, operating ahead of the fleet and neutralizing threats before they could strike. And yet, despite its groundbreaking success, the X-47B never became operational. By 2015, the program was cancelled. The Navy shifted focus to a simpler goal, creating a carrier-based drone for aerial refueling, not stealth strike. The result was the MQ-25 Stingray, a less ambitious but more immediately useful aircraft. Why? Because the X-47B was too far ahead of its time. It raised questions about cost, doctrine, and strategy. And perhaps most importantly, it raised questions about how much control the military was willing to hand over to machines. Even though the X-47B never entered production, it changed everything. It proved that autonomous stealth strike aircraft were possible. It showed that drones could take off and land on carriers. It demonstrated aerial refueling, high-speed operations, and stealth missions, paving the way for the next generation of unmanned combat aircraft. Today, its DNA can be seen in projects like the B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber, the MQ-25 Stingray, and the growing field of loyal wingman drones being developed worldwide. In many ways, the X-47B was not the end, but the beginning of a new era. The success of the X-47B didn't go unnoticed. Nations like China, Russia, and Europe began developing their own stealth drone programs. China unveiled the Sharp Sword, a stealth UCAV with striking similarities. Russia revealed the S-70 Ahantic B, designed as a heavy stealth strike drone. Europe developed the Neuron, a multinational project exploring unmanned stealth strike technology. The X-47B had triggered a global race, a race not for the fastest or most maneuverable fighter, but for the most advanced autonomous stealth strike aircraft. As artificial intelligence advances, the line between manned and unmanned aircraft continues to blur. Tomorrow's wars may be fought by swarms of autonomous stealth drones, each capable of independent decision-making, overwhelming defenses, and striking with precision. The X-47B showed us that this future is not science fiction. It is inevitable. Its story is a reminder that the greatest revolutions in warfare don't always come from battlefields, but from bold experiments that push the limits of technology. The X-47B never dropped a bomb in anger. It never fought in a war, but its impact was no less powerful. It was the proof of concept that unmanned stealth strike fighters could fly, fight, and survive. 
and though it was retired before its time, its legacy lives on in every stealth drone being designed today. The X-47B may not have been the fighter of the present, but it was the fighter of the future. This was the X-47 Stealth Strike Fighter. This is Armory Unveiled. Like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth dives into military tech.